a lot of things can contribute to why it is you're unhappy, but I want to talk about a few things that simply put in effect will benefit your overall emotional stability and create in you less of a desire to loathe yourself, right? Because a lot of us loathe who we are because we look around in society and we see what appears to be those who are better, those who are more blessed, more gifted, more talented, whatever, right? We don't want to loathe ourselves. And, and a lot of that starts with realizing that we are uniquely ourselves, and that, that there's nothing we can do to change who we were created to be, who we are, right? Like, look at your face, look at my face. Like, I didn't design it. I didn't sit in the lab and say, yeah, that nose, all right, that's cool. Those color eyes, sweet. None of us did that. So we had zero impact on our family. We had zero impact on our physical appearance, on our natural talents, on our, really our desires in the sense of uh, our interests, what really interests us. We didn't really have much. We just came into it, right? So what's especially going to make you unhappy is if you're not being who you were created to be, right? If your authentic, genuine self is being suppressed at the expense of society and society's opinion of you, then you're much worse off than you would be had you just been alone, had you had no friends around, had you had no validation around. You would have been much better at just being by yourself and knowing who you are and recognizing your own importance because you exist, you know? Um, the world has its own standards of what success means. Yet when we start to adopt these standards, we become less happy because the world dictating what is important is ridiculous. Look at some of these performers we have in today's society. Look at some of these people that are idolized by ignorant, young, and, you know, disillusioned, uh, a lack of awareness of, of what's right and wrong. The, the things that are glorified are gross. They're no class. There's no dignity, right? These people aren't even respectable. Yet we have large numbers of society gravitating towards listening and wanting to be like these people. So why are you going to want to be like society? Why are you going to be like, want to be like the standards of the world when they are flawed? We are fallible human beings creating standards to which others should adopt. It's ridiculous. We have to have our own moral standards that we adhere to and don't compromise from. And the first is being genuine and being authentic, being yourself. People don't accept you for it. People don't want to embrace you, don't want to be around you. Guess what? You keep doing your thing. God's going to put your tribe into your life without you even trying. What is a tribe? It's a community. It's a group that, you know, you fit in with, that you belong. And you got to remember the people you don't want to have in your life and the person you don't want to be is a consumer, a consumer of other people's energy. When you take advantage of others just to receive, you do no good. You are just simply taking with nothing to offer in return. Those who are the most <clears throat> taken advantage of and used are the ones that give freely. I'd rather be the one who's giving freely than be the one who's taking and taking and taking. So giving freely is a way to become happier. What, what you said, I don't have anything to give. Self working on yourself and working on your own ability to be happy and love yourself is first. And then you're able to give freely because you're not looking for anything in return. Now, if you go out there with an agenda, trying to get people's validation, trying to get people's energy exchange, trying to get from them, that's what we commonly do. That's what human beings commonly do. But you want to be happier, you give freely. You want to be happier, you eliminate a lot of those standards that are that are, are you know make you feel constricted like you can't be free like you're free just be free like be who you're supposed to be and so i don't agree with those that want to tell everyone what to do and try to force everyone on what to do they got to be free but they also got to know that there's a 
there's a right way and a wrong way and you know internally through your own compass that you're given what's right and what's wrong for you and what's what's hurting you and what's benefiting you so stick towards what is good for you don't love society don't love the world's opinion of you more than your family more than the people who are around you not by your own choice but by god's doing focus on what they have to say first because when you're going and like let's say you're going and you're jumping into a relationship or marriage and your parents know it's not good for you because they, they do know you and you say nah you don't know me at all well what are you doing you're just saying oh they're more important than you that's what you're saying you know so don't make society and relationships and others more important than than what god created yeah you want to create a family with someone but don't allow that to dictate how you move in this life don't don't be so obsessed with uh other people's opinions of you that's i guess what i mean so those are the main topics i want to touch on i guess it'll be a little shorter of a video it's like happiness really comes down to a, a lack of weight and all this stuff on top of your shoulders and we put that stuff on our shoulders unknowingly you know just by existing we walk around and we, we have um other people's opinions in our mind and self-consciousness in our mind when that was never by design the design was to be free and to be you and to live and to enjoy the days and to smile more but now all we have is drained people walking around it's starting to look like a movie where there's zombies and vampires everywhere you go it's like a horror movie especially in some of these cities i mean it's beautiful where i'm at right now but if i go 10 15 miles inland i just see consumers energy consumers and they don't have anything they don't have any depth they don't have any thing to talk about or to embrace right we don't want to be those people we want to be alive on the inside we want to be able to give right if you could leave the house and have so much excess energy inside you could just give it away i mean how much better would it be it's easier said than done i get it but the more you work on yourself the more you are able to at least offer something as opposed to just taking so i think that's that's kind of the message and, and the moral of the story today is like your happiness needs to be inwardly it doesn't need to be of expectations of others because inevitably you're going to let someone down you're going to let yourself down too but if you let yourself down you know that already you have value because you didn't choose to have value you were created with value so when you go to the foundation of things like I matter because God says I matter, God created me. I didn't choose to exist. I didn't choose to have this, you know, physical appearance, this family. I didn't choose. When you realize how little of this life you chose, you're going to be happier. All right.